Does this fan have a name? Um, Libby, Libby's cousin. What is it? The Hemeyer? Hemeyer. Hemeyer. Huh. Have you heard about this guy? No. Uh, you'll have to have Billy or Tyler tell you a story. It's pretty fucked up. Um, there's a uh, gentleman by that name. Who's a second cousin or something? Oh, Libby. Libby, yeah. Is that the relation? Your your parents' cousins? Does that make it your second cousin? I think so. Okay. We'll say. Libby's second cousin um, was a gentleman in Colorado who um, wasn't very happy with uh, some of his neighbors and city council. He had some sort of factory of some sort, but he wanted to like build a steel mill, and they wouldn't let him. And uh, so, long story short, he was pissed, and he slowly plotted his revenge, which involved taking his um, bulldozer and creating this... Um, steel enclosure cased in cement, kill dozer, and <laughs> dropped it on to the bulldozer, put cameras all around I'm gonna make it, a rape dozer. Mounted guns front and back, and once it was ready, I mean, he dropped a crane and there was no coming out of it at that point. You're kidding me. No, this happened. And so he took it out and um, just went on a rampage. Zero killed because apparently there's something called reverse 911, where 911 can call you and tell you to get the fuck out of the way because there's a kill dozer on the loose. And so oh nobody died, but millions in damage. She's leveled all these buildings, and there was state troopers, SWAT teams, everything. At one point, there was like a SWAT member on it. Oh my god! But it was. It was bulletproof. There was nothing, and it just what actually happened uh, was like the tread got caught, so he couldn't move it any longer. And the only other thing he had with him in the killdozer was a gun. So that's how that one ended. <laughs>